All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using Teller Knights once again. So uh, as you can tell by the title, yes, I am actually making the deck back to a more fun version and less competitive version. Uh, because now since I have Cleese, I just don't really feel like I really want to do a competitive version of this deck, you know? Uh, you know, every time I think, oh, I can make Teller Knights competitive, I'm just like, I have Cleese, you know? And there's just some cards that are competitive that I just don't like, like Mind Crush, you know? I wish it would have got hit, but it didn't. So, this deck didn't get hit, but it kind of got hit just because, uh, uh, Lobobo Chain is banned. And, you know, Lobobo Chain was a pretty good card for this deck. It definitely was, uh, you know. It allowed me to go Vega, summon someone else, and then go into Law Chain, summon the Neb when I didn't have it. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going up against Infernalites. He's going to touch my deck? No, don't touch my deck. That's fine. Kill a nuke. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. <sighs> Infernoids suck, though. Uh, let's see what I draw. Hopefully I draw into a monster at least. Nope. So of course as soon as I activate one of these cards he's just gonna chain. So that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Oasis, I'm gonna target the nab, and he's gonna go Harmadick effect, banish the nab, and I'm gonna go chain call the haunted. Go ahead and take the nab out of the graveyard. So go ahead, do it. I was really hoping that I would get a monster just so I could just, you know, try to attack with the, uh, the shit, but nope. So, that's it, I'm taking that Deneb out. No, thank you. Keep your grimy hands off my Deneb. Give me Altair. Then I'll just go Altair, summon Unu, go into Triv. That seems like a plan. I'm gonna go ahead and send him another map just in case he thinks he's cute with his multiple infernoids. So I'm playing Alpha again. Like I said, I really like the card as a fun card. So we're gonna go ahead and play that again. I think it's a really powerful card and I like it. I'm gonna triv and return my Call the Haunted and my Oasis back to my hand because I have to use it too. So I'll also go for triv, right? And turn all this back. So, are Teller Knights still a good deck? Yes, definitely. But, once again, I just want to make it a fun deck, because my competitive deck will, of course, be Cleese. I prefer Cleese as my competitive deck. Still working on it, still working on it. Uh, I'm going to try out what I have on Wednesday Daily Duels. And, of course, yes, you guys do get an additional Daily Duels now. You know, the tag is ready, so uh, prepare yourself for that. So, a bounce is spell, which means he doesn't get his token. Yeah. Then he doesn't get his token to the standby phase, so uh, that's just an egg on his part in his hand. He's gonna go ahead and reset his card. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a seer or something, wood seer. I took out a harma deck, so you know, summoning that harma deck from your hand. Go ahead and activate your field spell again. That's fine. Like I said, activating field spell is already an egg, but then I make you put it back and you don't even get your bonus out of it. So, like, damn. So hopefully you got like some Infernites, banish these two, summon like maybe like Sedimus or, or a Tondo or something like that. Oh, Decatron. So he's using those few cards. Like, okay. That's weird that it didn't let me like respond on summon. That's fine. You know something you can send one for a monster and if you do, comes that monster's effect. Gains level equal to that monster. Okay. So. I don't know where you're going with this. No. I don't know which Deneb you selected, so that's that's really gay. I think that was the right Deneb, right? I think so, yeah. I don't know what Deneb you selected. I'm just going to take my Deneb out. Like, you know, you don't need to get my Deneb. Yeah, you gain that level, and 
you come its effect, but you don't get its attack, and that was the problem with sending a Tondal. So that sounds a good card. And you know, some people are getting on me because I didn't put Infernoids. I forgot. You know what? I completely forgot about the existence of Infernoids. I really did. Hmm. So he's just going to attack me twice, right? That's fine. You can summon him. I'm going to destruction you. And then, of course, you're going to go ahead and chain your effect and take out one of my, take out my other Deneb, which is totally fine. You know, it's totally fine because I still got a Deneb. And if this is a fear that you set, then you can't play it because the quick play spell that you already set, so. So, go ahead and change your effect if you want to. I really don't give a crap. I just want him off the field because I want to keep my Triv. That's fine. Yeah. So, I completely forgot. I probably put like a phone that's just like 8. Yeah. You keep on getting on me. Like, hey, for Inferno, Inferno, you're still the tits. They're still the shit. They're going to be. Someone said, like, top three? Like, no. No. Not even close. You know? Nothing much has changed. It's not like Inferno has got anything new. You know? I still only have, you know, one monster gate and only two charger light brigade. It's not like they got nothing off this list. You know? So to say that, you know, all of a sudden they're going to shoot up in a higher tier all because they got fucking some new shit. Like, I don't think so. I mean, because, because no reason, apparently, and because no reason. That was dumb. I detached the wrong one, so I wasn't paying attention. I should have detached a nuke, but it's fine, because I could have went ulti or summoned me a nuke, and then made into a Deltaros. Deltaros have popped and they equipped, but it's cool. So... Yeah, because I can't summon you with you, so, yeah, I misplayed. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess technically I could go ahead, because you can go ahead and banish the token, right? Yeah, you can banish the token and banish this Decatron to summon uh, a Tondal again. So, maybe it'd be best to go ahead and just slap on Diamond and then equip him with the uh, Alpha. <gasps> And he would be a 33 beater, which a Tondo can't beat over, so. That wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. Because right now, I'm just asking for a Tondo. But the Tondo is going to go ahead and kill me, and I'm going to get my effect. Target one turn when I launch my graveyard, summon it. Hmm. I'll set this in end. I'm okay for right now. No, I'm not. You know what? I should do that play. He is, he's definitely top decking, so I'll just allow him to go ahead and top deck in two. Uh, whatever. Like I said, I'm not going to get beat by a Tondal like that. So there we go. I'll go through 32. Did I say 33? I'm at 32. My math is bad. Like, really? Really? Daniel? 7 plus 5? <laughs> So now, go ahead and summon his token, and banish his token, and, uh, Decatron for a Tondal. Which is fine. Oh, Void Launch. Hmm. Quite slow. That's a token for the Inferno. That's the Inferno token? Like, okay. I guess you should have activated this during your draw phase. Unless it's going off now. No, because this is main phase one. So I guess you should activate this during your draw phase. Oh, Sedimus. Top deck into a Sedimus. Not bad. So, kill my Deneb and then banish what? I should have gone to field, I guess you're going to go ahead and get rid of my alpha, which is fine, because I still have my diamonds, so. And of course, everybody knows diamonds are forever.
Mm-hmm. So, what are you gonna get rid of? Can't get rid of my diamond. So. Yeah, you targeted my diamond, didn't you? You done fucked up, young goof. Eat a fat dick. Right. I love this equip spell. It's powerful. So I guess I can just go ahead and end this duel. Yeah, let's say you lose. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, another duel. Alright. See how I open. Very good, actually. You're going first, though. Alright. Upstart again? Alright. Upstart again? Wow. But you just hate when you go upstart, 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 upstart. That's so stupid. But at least he decked in. Who the fuck is this? Hmm. Alright. This hand would have been much better if I went first, of course. This hand would have been beautiful if I would have went first. This hand would have been destructive. Yeah. That yeah, right there. That yeah, right there is the reason why I should have went first. Like, wow. Look at that. Look at that. If I would have went first, that would have never fucking happened. Yeah, going first is powerful because you get to set up, you know? That would have never happened either. <laughs> I also got bottomless. This is due during damage. It's this card by the opponent's monster. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't care. Back to your 2000 ticket. You gave me 3,000, so I'll take the 2,000. The bottom will see you. How's that feel, bitch? I'll go ahead and summon a nuke. I'll start beating the shit out of you. I don't solemn wearing my own fucking nuke. Nuke. Go ahead and send the Deneb that I'm now missing. And he spaced my damn fucking Call of the Haunted too. I really wanted that Call of the Haunted. Go ahead. So. I said, it seems like he actually is playing some worms. Damn, and he just lost, loses connection. Like, damn, I didn't even need see. He just knew I was gonna fuck you up. And I said, that duel would have been different if I would have went first, but it's still in the end. Alright, got another duel in. Bear back. Alright, people, we are back. Ew, I did not open up well. Not at all. Number generators. I can you go with Compulse, Ring of Destruction, Regaki. I think I got like similar. I'm just gonna get any number generator. Warning, Bottomless, Gurdayaki. You know, all of the number generator. Mm hmm. I opened up so bad. Mm-hmm. Take it. I need a Deneb. If I get a Deneb. Oh, I should have set the Nova. Yeah, I should have set the Nova. Damn. Ow. Ow. And is it real bad? I guess I'll Nova it. I'll Nova any, any play he decides to do. I uh, got my... Go ahead and set the Regeki as bait. God, his hand's just like, wow. You know, maybe I should put Pot back in here. <laughs> this card's just like when it's summoned period that I could just stop you from ex uh, from 
continuing your plays if I fucking just hit you with the fucking Nova, but nope. So, I'll go ahead and take that again. Alright, I just needed to nab. You know what? I might just do it. That'll be a... I'll be a 22 beater. That's unaffected by his card effects. Like, yeah. Fuck it. Maybe I should pep back in pot. Got these Alpha Novas and, like, no Deneb or no Revival at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. And that sucks. I completely forgot about Omega. I'm like, I'm like, what? You need to do like this ring of destruction. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking Omega. Oh, all right. I'm probably going to lose this duel. I'm going to lose this duel to fucking Battery Man because I opened up like crap. I was really, I was really hoping that I completely and utterly forgot about fucking uh, Omega. There's two Altairs down, all my fucking shit's gone. Battery Charger again! Damn! Alright, that's game. That's definitely game. Damn, you opened up fantastic. I opened up ass. I opened up garbage. Like, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's game. That's fucking game. Wow. Thanks, fucking deck. Ah, uh, bear back. Uh, hopefully we get a better hand than last time. That was just... Gave me nothing. Gave him everything. Much better hand. Still number generized, of course. But much better hand. Uh, just because it's Rota. We said didn't hit Rota. So let's tell her nice aren't too... The third nice thing you hit it all besides I think it's the wobble chain. Not that wobble chain would have really helped in that last duel. Just saying. It's just like, wow. He gets like all the chargers and shit. And I'm getting garbage. No, hold on to soul charge. So, like I said, then Yu Gi Oh! is still based on luck. Skill versus skill, mm -hmm. but there's still luck involved. Ew, Supply Squad. Hate that card. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Crashing to me and draw a card? Mm hmm. And a search? Look at that. Look at that. Supply Squad's a dumb card. It's always been a dumb card. Like, really? Like, you get rewarded for fucking being bad? Your monster gets killed, so you get to draw a card. Like, really? Like, whose fucking logic was that? Huh? Oh, tell me right now. Whose fucking logic was that? Whoever came up with this card, you're a fucking idiot. When your monster dies, you're not supposed to get rewarded for dying. You're not supposed to be rewarded for bad play. Alright, alright. One more duel, one more duel. We're back. Alright, last duel. Last duel. Alright, I'll just go ahead and summon a nuke. Not sure if this duel is gonna my opponent's gonna be good here. Then this then my opponent's fucking rating was like nine hundred on here. I'm like really nigga? Really nigga? Just a garbage ass rating and then classic old teller and I suck it fucking send the whole bunch of back row, even though Majority of it's still revival cards. Alright, so I'm in the Just Blaze Man, that's fine. Treasure Polly, that's fine. Fucking United We Stand. That is fine. Or my nuke, that is fine. Go ahead and activate Oasis during the end phase. Some Deneb. Deneb. Search Altair. So, 
Like I said, I'm not sure if we're doing against someone good, but I guess we'll find out. No, stop asking me. Nova, alright. Someone else higher. Yes. I'm gonna nuke. Yes. Go ahead and send another neb. Go on Delta Rose. Pop that back row. Run him over. Pop that. Get that mirror force out of here. You don't need it. Run him over. Nova. And go ahead. I thought I'm not afraid to go ahead and get rid of my Delta Rose. Oh, Polly. I like to call the Haunted. Alright, they're just gonna skip it up. Like I said, it's over anyway, because I'm not gonna call the Haunted, summon the Nep start. And then whatever you summon, whatever effect, even if it's a fucking uh, absolute zero, I can just know what you, so. Alright, so, uh, like I said, I put the two pots in, so hopefully I help. Uh, like I said, this deck is just going back to being a fun deck. I'm literally just going to take it and make it in real life again as a fun deck for when I want to play for fun. Is it still a good deck? Yeah, but I'm not going to be, you know, hard and competitive with it, so. You know, if I want to be competitive, I got Cleese, and if my fun deck is Tower, so wow. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow, uh, another Tag Tuesday joined by you will find out using trains. Alright people, thanks for watching.